I got kids. Let me hear it if you got kids. Anybody? Yeah. Kids, kids, kids. I, got, I got three kids. They're actually my ex-wife's kids from her first marriage, but I raised them like they're my own. I take care of them. I provide for them. They don't see their biological father, so I stepped into that role. Thank you, guys. Can you tell them that it's awesome? Because they still take me for granted. Like they're, they don't understand how many sacrifices I've made. But they're good kids. I love them. They're mean to me. Uh, <laughs> the other day, my oldest daughter said to me, I hate you, and I've always hated you. Now, in her defense, I did ask her to refill the Brita pitcher, so I probably had it coming. <laughs> when she said, I hate you, and I've always hated you, what I heard was this. I'm 16 years old, and I don't understand why my biological father's not a part of my life. It makes me sad, it makes me angry, I get emotional, and I lash out at people, but I don't mean it, and I'm sorry. But I do appreciate that you've taken time out of your life to care for me, love me, provide for me, and be a role model for me. <laughs> and I fucking hate you. <laughs> because she's a teenager. She should hate me a little bit. That's the, how you know you're doing your job right. If you have teenage kids and they're your best friend, you're yeah. fucking up. <laughs> you ever eat, meet that mother-daughter and the daughter's still a teenager and the mom's like, we're best friends. I'm like, oh, that's not good. <laughs> yeah, you two are about three years away from having a joint OnlyFans account. <laughs> I didn't subscribe to it, I just know about it. <laughs> My uh, oldest daughter got a job at McDonald's. She was always asking me for money. She's like, give me some money, give me some money. I'm like, get a job. And she called my bluff and got a job. And after her first day, she comes home. I'm like, how was it? And she just burst into tears. She's like, it was horrible. Everyone was mean to me. All the customers were rude. And one of them called me a dumb piece of shit because I forgot their chicken nugget sauce. <laughs> now this kid has put me through hell. So to see the world take a nice dump on her face <laughs> just really made my heart swell with joy. <laughs> but also, I'm not a complete monster. I don't like when someone makes my kid upset. So I wanted to make her feel better. I wanted to give her a hug, the kind of hug a dad gives their kid to make them feel like there's nothing in the world that can hurt them. And that's what I did. I wrapped her up in my arms with all my love, and I said, well, next time, don't forget my sauce. <laughs> I didn't know they were going to put her on drive through That's... I didn't think she was ready for it. Also, have you ever tried to eat chicken nuggets without any dipping sauce? It's, it's like being waterboarded in reverse. Does that even make sense? No, but it's funny. <laughs> Good, laughs are good. Uh, so uh, my kids are actually, uh, well, here's the thing. I post all these jokes about having stepkids online, and a lot of people are very supportive, but then you get people on YouTube and TikTok, and they have weird takes. They're like, oh, you're raising another man's kids? Not a very alpha move. Yeah, so then I had to sit down with my kids and explain to them, like, hey, I know I've been there since you guys were little. I helped you guys with your homework, and I taught you how to ride bikes and swim, and I've been there through uh, middle school and high school and all these different things, but that's over now because Bench Press got 69 on YouTube said I was a beta. <laughs> <laughs> so this is done. <laughs> what a weird take. I think that's so weird to think that you shouldn't, like, does that apply for orphans, too? Do those people <laughs> that think you shouldn't raise another man's kids, or they're, like, just standing outside of orphanages, like, no, no, they had their chance. <laughs> Don't, they fucked up. <laughs> no, I think that's weird. I think they have, like, my kids have a dad, but they call me dad. I feel like that's the alpha move of all alpha moves, right? <laughs> Especially when they did it in front of him. <laughs> yeah. He came to visit for the first time in a long time, and he was in there, and I walk in the room, and they go, oh, hey, 
this is our dad. And they point to me and I was like, yeah. <laughs> Best 50 bucks I ever spent. 